guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today. Welcome to another screenshot reveal for the new Wetlands Animal Pack coming to Planet Zoo. And today we have the Small Clawed Otter. Look at that face. I think, you guys, I have officially decided my favorite animal of the pack. And I know we haven't seen everything yet, but just, just look at how cute. I'm sorry, Platypus. I'm sorry, Capybara. I can't with this face. It is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So with the small clawed otter, I wanted to bring up the other otter that we have in game, the giant otter. And I like this one so much more. If you guys look at the giant otter, it's got that kind of flatter smushed face, those big whiskers. It kind of looks like an old man. <laughs> I do like its chest markings and all the white that's on its chest. But in comparison to the Asian small clawed clawed otter it's just no comparison this one is so much cuter it's so much more what i think about when i think about an otter the small clawed otter is what comes to mind and i'm pretty sure the one i'm most familiar with is the river otter um and they look similar so i am very very excited to see them in game let's go ahead and talk about them a little bit Otters have streamlined bodies, enabling them to swim rapidly and change direction quickly when pursuing prey. Their muscular tail helps propel them through the water when swimming fast and is also used like a rudder to help them steer. They close off their ears and nostrils when swimming and can dive underwater for six to eight minutes at a time. They have dense fur consisting of two layers, a soft insulating under fur to keep them warm and an outer layer of waterproofed guard hairs to keep them dry. These otters have very short claws that do not extend past the fleshy pads of their partly webbed toes, making their forepaws very dexterous. They foliage with their sensitive paws to locate prey in murky water or mud. They also have stiff whiskers called vibrissae that can detect the movement of prey in the water. They catch prey with their paws, not with their mouth, like other otters. Small clawed otters adapt to a variety of aquatic habitats from tropical coastal wetlands to freshwater rivers and creeks as well as mountain streams and even rice paddies. Southeast Asia from northern India to southeastern China and the Malay Peninsula and parts of Indonesia. So there you have it, a little bit about our otter friend. And what I'm noticing now too is we have a few animals from India, kind of Asia. The small clawed otter, the water buffalo, as well as I guess the crane is Japanese, but kind of a lot of Asian uh, Asian animals coming in this pack. Now that's not the same for obviously the platypus is from Australia, the capybara from South America. Um, and I don't actually remember where the leech we, I think the leech we was South America as well. Um, that's another one I'm really excited to see. Taking one last look at this little screenshot, there's nothing other than the otter that's too interesting here. We see these plants that are obviously from the aquatic pack and the bubbles coming from the otter, but I don't think anything else. There's no uh, a sneak peek at the bubble effect that we're supposed to be getting underwater and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a really cute otter. And that's it, that's all we get today. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. A very quick uh, little peek at our otter friend. Let me know if you're excited. Has this changed your favorite animal like it changed mine? Which one are you most excited for? Until next time, uh, probably tomorrow, we'll take a look at whatever is revealed next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.